What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Atiyah. You can call me Tia or Sunny, whichever one you like. What's up? What's good? I'm back. My laptop is here with me now. I can edit again. I can record again. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. It's a sunny day. I'm about to work out after this. Girl, I'm feeling good. But yeah, so today I create this nice little look right here. I really love it. If you guys want to see how I get this look, then definitely keep on watching. And I did my nails, so I'm cute again. A little bit. Slightly. I had to put back on my um this scarf because it matches my turtleneck. First things first, of course, I have to prime my face. I use two primers. I already washed my face and prepped it and all that good stuff. First, I'm using this infallible glow lock. This is really nice if you want to have glowy skin. But since I moisturize, I'm not gonna use that much of it. But I'm gonna use a good little amount. And I'm also gonna use some of my NYX pore filler. And I just use it at the same time because, I mean, why not, you know? Make things a little bit quicker. See, I have a little bit of eczema right here. I don't know if you guys can see that though. I think you guys can, because my camera is wet or whatever. But it's right here below my little soupy boot. But it's clearing up, just like right here, I had some eczema scars right there so if you haven't watched my skincare routine you may want to watch it because i'm telling you guys these marks especially on my forehead are clearing up all right so now that that is good i like to go in with the laura mercier flawless lumiere radiance perfecting foundation it's why is this name so long this foundation is like my perfect skin tone but it's dewy and even though i'm dry i do like to have like my face stay on for the whole day. I don't want it to be oily. So I take this Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation and then I also take the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Made, Matte Ambition, I mean, foundation. And I take like three pumps of this and then one pump of this. All right, and then I just dab it all over my face. I put it on my sponge and my sponge is damp, but I put it on here because it just, instead of, Putting it on a brush and then put it on my face is less time and it also looks better. So I noticed that when I was going out to a function and I was like, oh, my face, like, she's flawless. She's unclockable. She's killing it. I'll insert the picture like right here or somewhere because that joint was looking so good. Even with the matte uh, ambition foundation, even with the Matte Ambition Foundation added to it, it still glows. The Laura Mercier Foundation still is glowy. Like, look at that. Here for it. Also, I will leave everything in the description box below. So if I do not put something on the screen, I'll try to put the br br what am I saying? I'm gonna put the brushes on the screen that I use and like this tool, but anything else will be in the description box below. So go there. Wipe off my lips and my earrings. My boyfriend gave me these earrings. Ice me out, okay? Um, Next is concealer. So I like to take the Fenty Beauty concealers and I'm not gonna take a lot because, well, my forehead I am. I'm not gonna take a lot because my foundation was, is pretty full coverage. So I'm just gonna take a little bit so it doesn't get cakey. I just started doing this where I take it all the way up to my nose, like all the way up on my nose where my contour would be. Like my contour is gonna go right in that space where there's no concealer. And it snatches my nose even more doing it this way. I got that little trick from JLo's makeup artist and I've been using it ever since. And then I'm just going to start blending it out very lightly. I'm having a very light hand under my eyes because I want more coverage there. So my hand, I'm not really like pressing into my skin. I'm more so just tapping it to blend it out very lightly though. Then I'm just going over it with the butt of my beauty blender because that part has the foundation on it and I just want everything to be nice and seamless. So now I'm just blending out my concealer so that when I put my powder on top and I set it, I'm not setting creases and lines. And that is just gonna be setting a nice even 
canvas. And then I just tap, tap, tap that in. Okay, so to contour, I'm gonna take my contour palette from Black Radiance and I'm gonna take this shade right here and just go in and contour my face. And now I'm going in and wiping away all that setting powder. Except for on my eyelids because I'm going to go in and do my brows and I need that to set the longest. Let me take this off real quick so that it won't be like a line, you know, that weird line from when you're setting your edges. So let me just take this off carefully. And then I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap it on my edges. Oh, I need to take some more though. <laughs> I'm gonna take some more of the contour and tap it on my edges. Not messing them up, just tapping it there. my scarf back on because I had to lay my edges you know I'm trying a new edge control and like it's working but then it's not working at the same time so this time I used um, some got to be glue with it I'm using the edge booster by style factor I think that's what it's called if you have another edge control that's better and that makes my hair hard like I want it to be hard but not crispy but anyways anyways all right, so now moving on to my brows. I have been loving the dip brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Y'all, it's, it's everything. Like, it's just life. So I'm about to just do my brows real quick. Let's go ahead and take the Soft Glam palette. I'm gonna take burnt orange and rustic. I'm gonna take more burnt orange than rustic and I'm gonna use it as my transition color. I like to bring it on my lip. Ooh, almost poked my eye out. But I like to bring it on my lip first and then bring it up into my crease because I don't know, it just helps me blend it better than just directly putting it into my crease. This would be a really cute prom look. Like if your dress is white or black. Ooh, having a lime green lid. That would look really cute. All right, and then just bringing it into my nose contour to open my eyes up a little bit more. Because you guys know I have very tiny eyes. And I like to do like little circles. I like to bring my circles in towards my eyes instead of going this way. I find that it kind of, it just blends it a little bit better than going outward. I don't know if that's clockwise or counterclockwise. I was never good at reading the clock and stuff in school. Like, girl, I really know how to read the clock now. Now, I'm gonna take Just Rustic and put this on the outer corner. So I'm just gonna take some of Rustic and Burnt Orange. Well, I'm gonna take more Rustic and just sweep and pat that under my eye. I'm actually gonna just pat it there in the outer corner. And I'm gonna bring it like halfway in. I'm gonna take a little bit of Cypress Umber and pat that as close to my waterline. All right, so I did this eye off camera because I wanted to see how it was gonna look. And I want to see like how to explain it to you guys better. So I'm gonna take this concealer first. Usually I may use the, um, what is it called? The P. Louise base, but sometimes 
eyes. Well, lately I've been, my eyes just been a little weird. It's a little, a little funky lately. So I'm just gonna use concealer, something simple. And I'm taking a flat liner brush and I'm about to put my concealer right here closer to my inner corner and look up. And then now you see it's like a little line right there. Taking some more concealer. So now I'm gonna just follow this line and create my crease. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette and I'm gonna take the shade Sphere, which is this nice neon-y greenish yellow color. I'm gonna take a nice flat brush and just start packing that color up on my lid. And you don't have to press hard to pack something on your lid, by the way. I know packing on your lid kind of sounds like, oh, let me press really hard. But no, I'm not pressing that hard on my eye. So I'm just patting it right there. And then when it gets to like the crease, I kind of press it in like this, pick up some of the shade and press it in. Ooh, and there's a little bit of fallout. <sighs> I'm gonna just dust that away. So now you see how this is like this and it's not like blended like that side. So what I did is I took Burnt Orange and Rustic and I just tapped it right there. I know this may seem a little hard because you may get frustrated with the blending part, but just take a fluffy blending brush and tap that right on the outer corner. All right, I'm gonna take a bigger flat brush and tap that on the outer corner, right over top of that brown. And I pretty much just go back and forth, for real, for real. Now I'm trying to think if I want to do a wing or no wing. Wing or no wing. Wing or no wing. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna do a wing. I'm not gonna do a wing. Nah. I'm gonna just line my eyes. All right, I'm going to add some mascara. I'm also gonna add some liner to my waterline. Get my glue tacky on my lashes. And the lashes I'm gonna use are my brand. Of course, like, what wouldn't they mean? But they're sold out right now. That's the only thing. <laughs> but they're gonna be back very, very soon. But I'm just gonna pop on these lashes and then my eye look will be complete. I'm gonna take my brow gel and I'm gonna take like a regular brow pencil. This one's from ColourPop, but I'm using this, the brow gel, to make my little beauty marks. I'm gonna put one here, up here. Now I'm gonna add some blush, and this is the blush I'm gonna be using. It's a nice peachy blush, and go right here. I like to bring it up. I like to bring it up into my contour, like up here. Now I'm going to highlight, highlight the tip of my nose. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of highlight, you know, just a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. And then if I do like this, like if I bring it in a circle, it'll make it more pigmented. And if I go like this, like pick some up, and then just like, go like that, yeah. I'm gonna take this lip pencil from NYX and just line my lips with this. And then I'm gonna take this lip gloss and I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in butterscotch and put that in the center. All right, and then I'm going to, I was having too much fun just now. I'm gonna take this Dewy Finish Setting Spray. This is from Cover FX and spray my whole face. 
And I'm gonna take some of this one. This is the Dewy Setting Spray from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just really don't like how it sprays out. Like it, it sprays out too hard. So I gotta like hold it all the way back here. All right, y'all, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, helpful, and hopefully inspiring. If you guys did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you wanna see next. Also, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and be a part of the gang. Hashtag on the road to 200K. Something like that. And if you're not following me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, definitely do that as well. But I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.